Well, last week, our Steve Brown spoke with the priest secretary to Bishop Richard Malone, who talked about abuse he suffered at the hands of a well-known South Buffalo priest. And tonight, that priest is responding. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. Father Richard Biernat, an account of what happened to him over a decade ago is denied by the man that he accused. Now, two on your sides, Claudine Ewing is here tonight to explain this to us. Claudine? Very interesting, Scott and Mary Alice. If you ask Father Biernat about Father Art Smith, he will tell you he was abused by him. It was paralyzing and difficult. And as you will see, he wasn't alone. Father Richard Biernat, the priest who secretly recorded his conversation with Bishop Malone, has also openly talked about being sexually abused by Father Art Smith. He says it happened when he was a seminary student in 2003. During an interview with Channel 2's Steve Brown last week, Father Biernat recalled when he lived in the rectory at St. Thomas Aquinas Church, where Father Art Smith was assigned. This is what he said happened. What you will hear is quite graphic. I woke up with him laying behind me. Um, he was, I think, naked. Um, I sleep just with underwear on, so I felt his skin against my skin. He was kissing my neck and, and grabbing my ear. And uh, that's one of the hardest things uh, for me as a man, a strong man, that I froze. I reached out to Father Art Smith about the accusation. He responded. In fact, he responded via email. In it, this is what he says. I admire and respect Richard very much and have always praised him in the past. He has been good to me. My only wish is that he would be genuinely truthful and not manipulate the truth for his own purposes. I'm not surprised at what he said because he's been saying this about every allegation uh, that was launched against him. I think Father Art is kind of confused about what story he's trying to use and, and um, to say that you manipulated the truth for your own purpose. Absolutely not. It's, it's, um, he's accusing me of lying. I've, I've never changed my story. Earlier this year, Father Art's nephew described abuse he endured allegedly at the hands of his uncle, the priest. I honestly believe that he preyed on the fact that I didn't have a, like a father. Ryan Cooley was nine years old when he says he was abused. He sat me down on the bed and um, fed me some bull like, oh, you're growing up so fast. Just started like rubbing my back and then he just stuck his hand up my shorts and just kept touching me. I, I saw it, it broke my heart because uh, Father Art became like a father figure for me. I've never had a good, good father. Father Biernet says he forgave Father Art Smith and has moved on. Coming up at six o'clock, he says he was told to stop talking about the abuse at the hands of Father Art or he would not be ordained. We'll have a response from Bishop Grosh coming up at 6. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.